the city mentality lends itself to the crowd psychology mentality. We were at the front of the bus, but what happens is that there's always people that before the bus even gets to its destination, they start getting out of their seats. And you see this in airplanes too. They start getting out of their seats as if they're not going to be able to get out. This video is about Country Mouse, City Mouse in Panama. It just occurred to me we were on the bus from the coast and it, this is not unique to Panama. It's just any time you're on a bus around big cities there's the what I call the crowd mentality. The city mentality lends itself to the crowd psychology mentality. We were at the front of the bus, and again, this, is, this happens in Ecuador and everywhere else. We were at the front of the bus, but what happens is that there's always people that before the bus even gets to its destination, they start getting out of their seats, and you see this in airplanes too. They start getting out of their seats as if they're not going to be able to get out if they don't. And then the crowd psychology kicks in because uh, some people get up and get in line and then others do it and pretty soon everybody's in line and you can't get out of your seat unless you cut in front of somebody and that's the whole thing the whole idea is that you the crowd psychology you have to cut in front of people in order to get out and so even though you're at the front if you're not wanting to be quick and cut in front of people you just want to get up and get out naturally you end up being at the back of the line you end up being last no big deal, it's not a complaint. I'm just saying that it occurs to me that when you're not in the city, especially if you're a country person, you might not be used to this kind of psychology and it's just something to think about. We've been in Gorgona now for a couple of weeks and it's and we just got back to Panama City and one thing we noticed it's way hotter in Gorgona I don't know I think that the city has more cloud cover I don't know what what the cause is really but um, it's just more stifling and more stuffy it's stuffier more stifling hotter more humid I think it may be it's more humid, humid. It's yeah humid. The humidity just makes it feel much more stifling and you would think that would there would be more wind there but there's not more breezes and such but there's not any more breezes there than than panama city you know but a lot of people that come down to gorgona they just sit in air-conditioned condos but i'm just saying you know it's a big difference we've noticed some errands in Panama City even though it's 9 a.m. we're still waiting on everybody nobody gets around to anything if you're an early to bed early to rise person like I am you're not going to get anything done which is sort of uh, opposites kind of thing if you would think in these hot humid or just hot uh, kind of places that you would want to get all your work done first thing in the morning that's my thinking uh, instead, people, when you call them and you say, let's meet tomorrow early in the morning, 
they'll come back with, okay, let, I'll see you at 11 a.m. You know, so that's the uh, thing. Okay guys, you might be wondering, how did we get caught walking home in the dark? Are those trees right there? Weird looking. Look like kind of like some gargoyles or something. <laughs> oh, okay, so we got a little bit of light here. There's no light on that alley right there. You just walk through it like yeah, the time. Yeah, it's pretty muddy. Yeah, the locals warn us not to be out at night, so potentially dangerous and it wasn't our intention we started out heading back towards the uh, beaches here that we were we were done with our errands at like 3 p.m. from Panama City and we got on the bus at by 4 here's our buddy we did not realizing the rush hour traffic took three more hours it's normally a, an hour and 25 minute ride but it's we didn't get here till 7 and actually it's after seven now we're still not not back to the pad yet and I can't see that but there's not a soul in sight here all right well that was a really long trip altogether from three to seven it's four hours Whew. from Panama City yeah from Panama City to uh, to the beach here Thank you.